Thank you very much. First of all, today I would like to present some of the work that we have done during the last years in our law college. And uh, this work uh, deals with several aspects of a project that we call it Teach to the Future, and uh, specifically the course that we are calling EFTF, or Educating for the Future. In this work, we have asked ourselves how much the actual teachers, students or student teacher, are ready to adapt some of the new teaching tools, methodologies, and skills. First of all, I would like to introduce my partners for this entire project, who are also teachers in uh, OALO. First of all, on the right, it's Dr. Eyal Weisblit from Physical Education. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Yonit Nisim, our uh, Dean of Students. And thank you for being with us. And here they are also in the audience. Please raise your hands, Eyal and Yonit. OK. So <coughs> as you know, we are coming from a beautiful region. on the Golan Heights and uh, situated in the city of Katrin. We are in the middle of the calmness, the nature, and we are open to look at the future and explore some of the ideas regarding the educational system in the nearest future. The world changed and is still changing. So the future markets needs at all levels and in every field need new type of manpower. In fact, it needs a new type of bachelors and bachelors with adapted skills and abilities and equipped with new competency-based curriculum. The modern world at all professions today adapted themselves to these changes and fortunately all but the educational system. We thought that in OALO College we can fit with it and we can face the challenge and adapt ourselves to the new reality. For that we understood that we need to align our teachers training and formation differently and embrace this new opportunity that these children are asking for. I would like now to address my colleague Eyal and I'd be glad, Eyal, if you can, please tell us about your research goals. Thank you, Shimon. Thank you, everyone. Uh, actually, we began the project at the end of the academic year of 2010, when we decided to develop a pioneer project unique in its scope and essence upon the identification of a significant need to shape the teacher's role according to the 21st century required skills. The project consisted of a course emphasizing higher level of creative thinking skills and active leadership among students during their pre-service teacher training period. We collaborated with Intel World Corporation and used their education methodology in our student program. Since then, about 450 students accomplished an annual course named Educating for the Future, or in short, EFTF. They learned to combine new teaching methods with information technologies while stimulating interest, thinking, and creativity in their students as part of their lesson plans. The project had several stages. The first stage required the use of various tools, some developed by Intel Corporation and others. It enabled them to teach and challenge children, requiring them to use higher order thinking skills. And the outcome was a learning unit planned by student teachers in various disciplines, English, math, sciences, and physical education. Hello. Welcome to class. We decided to accompany the course with an evaluative study 
designed to learn how well the course content is perceived, accepted, and even adopted by our students. Thank you very much, Eyal. You are more than welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> I would like to address uh, my colleague, Yonit. Can you please, Yonit, tell us how the research was implemented and what was its purpose? Of course, Shimon. This is an action research of a pioneer experiment employing an innovative technique in Oalo Academic College. It relates to a construction of a course entitled Educators for the Future, a multi-annual project that cuts across different college streams, aiming to train teachers for the reality of tomorrow's world, equipping them with 21st century skills. In a matter of fact, researchers were involved both as researchers and as lecturers because of the unique and complex nature of studied subject, a multi-layered qualitative and quantitative data collection and analysis approach was adapted. We used questionnaire, focused group, lecturer's evaluation, questionnaire, and project documentation. In both years, 2011 and 2012, to check the project. In a matter of fact, we achieved project goals. Research goals was analyzing the construction of a new pedagogy teaching 21st century skills in the Oalo Academic College, influencing and reshaping teachers' future role. Thank you very much, Yonit. The research product that we made, in fact, implicates all our students from all disciplines. So I would like now to introduce two of our students who are about to become English teachers and accomplish the EFTF course. Ben, the guy, and Adva, the girl. When I heard about the course Educating for the Future, I didn't really know what to expect. I have never heard about it before. I just heard that I'm supposed to take this course in order to get my BED. I did not have any expectations. I could imagine that it connects to the uh, technology in a way. I thought it could help me in my future as an English teacher. It can give me uh, some uh, useful tools to use uh, in class. As a teacher, it gave me the control, the ability to see exactly the progress of each one of my students in the class. Uh, our lecturer showed us many new tools by Intel, mostly each one of us got a computer so he could go and actually teach us what to do individually. The project which we have introduced in front of the whole college uh, was Bet Sefer Levemek Elementary School. We uh, got uh, eight kids, excellent kids, and uh, we created a digital uh, newspaper in their school we saw that if we give the ideas to the students and we ask them what are you interested to put on the paper they are more involved and they're just they really like it it gives them a lot of motivation it attracts them more and they're really enthusiastic to start working on it you may start what are you doing Kochab? that is the pivot it's a program in the computer we're making new friends. We involved all kinds of digital tools like Smilebox, Blogster, uh, TripAdvisor, uh, Flip Flap for a uh, digital paper. From uh, one uh, small mission, it became a huge uh, project. We uh, published three editions, and the uh, school loved it, and the uh, students as well uh, liked it very much. Now I believe in this uh, technology thing. Before I thought it's not supposed to do anything good to the system. Many of the teachers today do not know how to use it and they've got no um, patience to start and, and deal with it. But I think as we, new teachers and uh, English teachers especially, can use it in such a great way. Um, and we should involve it in almost every lesson that we teach. 
it can make the whole lesson and the whole schools to be much different and it could be more attractive it could be more fun for the kids and they would love it, it they're just going to take it as a different totally different school it's going to be something a big change so as you can see after implementing the course and uh, experimenting theories tools practices experimentations and more we collected the relevant data and got the following results so please Eyal, I would like to ask you if you can show us some of the results. Okay, we found several interesting findings. The main one is a significant change in various variables between the first and second year of the project. This was evident in numerous issues such as different course content and more fitting lecturers. For instance, Lecturers were evaluated statistically more positive in aspects such as teaching more interestingly, they were more proficient, they came more ready to class, they managed their class better, and etc. Another example was that the course content was evaluated by students as more interesting, more engaging, and more helpful for their field work at their schools. Students evaluated the course as harder, which quite surprised us. A high correlation was found between how hard the course was and the way students evaluated it. This means that the harder they perceived the course to be, the higher they perceived its quality. Therefore, the more we challenge students, the more they value it. Thank you, Eyal. <coughs> Thank oh, you, wow. Eyal. <laughs> Nahon. <laughs> now, uh, I would like to present you the bottom line of these results. So the findings here, as you can see, are demonstrating that almost 90% of our students in the second year, 2012 here, acquired the knowledge of new teaching methods we can see at the same time a significant shift to the right, where more than 50% graded the course very much or fully agree. When we ask them about their capability to develop thinking skills, we can see the same pattern, an increase of 80% of the number of students with this capability, and again, the curve is shifting here to the right and grading it very high. The same pattern with the use of new tools for improving teaching, learning, evaluation, as well as when we are speaking about cooperation with other teachers. Here we can see, by the way, that the grading is lower. And the fact is probably this uh, innovative request from students is too difficult. Our results here that I just, you just saw now uh, are really taking us to another way of thinking about education. And Yonit, please, can you uh, tell us a little bit or summarizing some of the research project? It can help us to understand, to better understand. Well, the fact is that my student created project and developed an integrated learning unit with technology tools. Technology tools that are even unfamiliar to me. That shows us that we can bridge the gaps and create a different education and future teachers. We can't predict the future, but we have an excellent opportunity to prepare and shape the future role of teachers. Thank you, Yonit. And uh, what about you, Eyal? Any comment? Sure. Um, I think that we have seen here with the EFTF Educating for the Future project a great opportunity to give an answer to one of the main challenges of today's educational setup. We have created a momentum here with this project that needs to be continued. Thank you very much, Eyal. So we are sure today that we can transfer this early adaptation to all our students. It depends on how much our teachers and lecturers in OLO are ready to adapt. So if our lecturers will adapt it, for sure our students 
will accept it as well. If they will uh, accept it, in fact, we can ensure that these children uh, will be ready to think differently, to understand differently, etc., as it's written here. And uh, our students, when they will become teachers, they will probably be the lighthouse of these wonderful children that are just waiting for us to show them the way for success. Thank you very much. Thank you.